move it in just a little tiny bit and then move it in a little bit like this so that it's, you've got a shape to it. Then you can go extrude and basically extrude it the rest of the way down. Right there. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually back that up and bevel it a bit more. So we'll move it down, bevel it quite a bit in, and then extrude it down because you'll notice that it's stuck out the side. So move it down there. So now we've basically got that hollowed out. We could still select uh, the uh, polygons that are inside, same as before, bevel it down a bit, and bevel it in. Basically what we're doing here is just hollowing it out so that we could put our seats in and so forth. And that's the reason that you do it that way. Uh, because if you don't, what ends up happening is, is you, you, it makes it much harder to get at the polygons that are inside here. So I'm just going to control that to back all this up, get it back to where we were. Okay, so now we're back to here, and we'll go click and unhide all to get our canopy back. So that's what you've got. You've got your canopy built now. And so what you do is you select it. Go to the left view, and what we're going to basically do, I'm not going to show you the whole canopy, I'm just going to give you an idea of what we're going to do. We're going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. We're going to go create a shape and a line. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cr cut out this area right here. So you do the exact same thing you did before. Select here, 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 and here, and close the spline. Move it to the side, and you can't see it now because it's inside the canopy, but that's it is there because you can see the handles for it. Then you go extrude, and now you can see the shape. Move it once again so that it intersects the entire thing. Go to select compound objects, boolean, select operand B, inherit material, yes. Now you'll notice this time we cut the window out, but that's not what we want to do. We actually want, once again, we want intersection. So what this basically does is it, it just saves our front window. So what we would do is we would go File, Export Selected, and we'll call it Front Glass. Basically call it anything you want. Click OK. Control Z so that it's here. File, Import, Front Glass, Merge, and we'll call it Front Glass. Now, right now, of course, you can tell you don't really see any difference. That's because that's not a glass object. So what we were going to do is we're going to create a, uh, a basically a glass texture just to show you. So you go to your material editor, select an unused material, go to opacity, say come down to about uh, 50 or so. Uh, I like to select a nice light blue just like that and then drag it into there. Uh, control Z because I selected the wrong one. There. So now what you've got is you've got a very light blue glass. Now what you would do is actually just continue on with the rest of it, looking from the left view again, and you would select all the areas of glass. I'm going to do one more just to show you what it looks like. Uh, select there, go to line, go to here, down, down, down. Okay to the side again and go to extrude and again move it into place so that it intersects the whole thing go to create compound objects boolean pick operand b inherit sure intersection so that you just you just have that file export selected and we'll call it top glass control z Go back and import. Oops. Yep. Sorry. File. Import. Top glass. And I'm just going to wait a second because my computer's getting so 